Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, so today I am going to show you how to set up a G portal server for the new Minecraft 117 update. It's not so bad uh, to do and I know a lot of people panic when setting up servers so we're going to keep it nice and simple and straight to the point. Head over to G portal, okay, and then you'll be you log in, make an account, whatever, and this is what you're looking for. Okay, so it says Minecraft. But what we're gonna do is do it the other way. So you click on my servers, click on add server. Now this will take a couple of seconds to load. Okay. And one of the big things that people keep making the mistake when doing this is they order a Minecraft bedrock, not Java. And so what you want to do is type in main and you will see the two options here. Bedrock is Windows 10 store, okay? And that's like um, its own type of thing. So don't choose that one. Choose Minecraft. This is the Java version that has a cross platform and all that. So click add after you've chosen how many slots you want. It will then refresh and you'll be brought to this style of page. Okay, so once you've got this page up, you're going to click the little cog. Now you've got your settings page. And, you know, if you want to read about it, click the server and how to Minecraft and it will show you how to do everything there. Okay, but what we're going to do, first off is name it. Okay, uh, modification, sorry. Um, so the mod that you want to like use is up to you. There's plenty of them to be had. So I'm gonna keep it for basic just for this video. Version, you can change it to whatever you want. Obviously we want the latest version. And then server name. So let's see here. Make sure I can type actually. So there we go. Server name, nice and simple, done, right? Um, you can change it to whatever you want. Then your world selection, create a new world, world name whatever you want world seed um you can go on to google and go minecraft world seeds right so there you go you've got your 10 best seeds and then you can literally just run around okay so let's see yes whatever i want that one okay and then go over here and that done right but i'm gonna leave that blank just an example don't have to do it survival mode uh yes please i'm going to change that to normal too because i like a little bit harder on our server turn off pvp because nobody likes pvp um on minecraft unless you do and then have it on for your server how many slots on your server now you did buy 10 you can change it to whatever you want your java version keep it at eight now to broadcast the message what you would do is click add uh oh sorry click it's my god activate there we go every 10 minutes we're going to say a message saying hey everybody you know and just click add and there you go every 10 minutes it's going to say hey everybody so delete that turn that off and move down okay so the extended stuff to know now i will put this on the big screen now so you guys can see it better on the big screen, we can see now that we have the extended options, the whitelisting, allow flight, and all of them will be set to default by standard. So I'll quickly go through them with you, but if you don't want this, you can skip to a little bit later on. Uh, enables a whitelist on the server, you know, everybody, if you want to like keep it for just you and your friends and you have all their codes and IDs, whitelist on. If not, keep it off. I'll keep off for this video. Allow flight while survival mode, that's up to you. I suggest keeping it off. We don't want people flying around. Allow the nether, yes. Broadcast console to ops, yes. Enable query, yes. Archon, off. And command blocks, off. We don't want like anything like that. Keep the whitelisting off, force game modes off. Generate structures, yes, you want that one if you want villages. Generator sentence um, is up to you, but like, you know, I don't think it's available in the newer versions of the game like it says there, so I'll just leave it blank. Hardcore, keep it off unless you want to die when you die. Um, level type. Now, 
you've got flat world, large biomes, um, all that kind of stuff. You can choose what you want, including plug-in mods. Okay, so what we're gonna do is leave it as standard, but it's up to you what you use. Max build height, keep it 256, unless you wanna go bigger. Max takes time, 60,000. Like again, unless you wanna go bigger. The max world size, now this is up to you, but um, I would suggest keeping it at default. Most of these settings keep it default, but if you know what you're doing, feel free to edit. Network uh, compression threshold is 256. Um, the online mode, yes, you want that. Um, up per uh, permission level, keep that at four guys. And idle timer, right, so let's say for example, Damos needs to go to the shop or go for dinner. Well, um, if he's gone for more than five minutes, you could set it to five and it would kick him, freeing up a slot on the server. But if you keep it at zero, he won't get kicked. Simple. Uh, pre prevent proxy connections. This one's up to you guys. Um, I prefer to just keep this like as it is. Archon password, not want, don't want one. Uh, resource pack. You know, if you want a resource pack, um, it's, I would just Google it and try and see if you can find it and the shader to go with it. For snoopers, um, I would say keep that on. Spawn animals on. Spawn monsters on, NPCs on. All right, so your spawn protection, I would say keep that at 16, but it's really up to you. Um, your view distance, keep it 10, or maybe even 20. It's up to you, it's either way. Whitelisting, like I said before, it's a simple just uh, type the name in, say there, and then it will give you the actual unique user ID, okay? So let's say for example, uh, Damos is joining the server later. It will find him and do that, but we don't want to do that for now All right for operators um, It's the exact same you just find the name It'll give you the ID we want to give him a level two for example and There you go done, but we don't want that we don't want to add anybody like that. So we just keep it blank and ban players is the exact same thing if you want to ban someone it goes like this. So you find the name. I mean, we don't really like this guy. So, and the reason for that is he drank all my coffee. Okay, and then you would just click add and Damos would be banned from the server. Poor guy seems to be evil. Right, so anyway, you've got your everything done and you're good to go. Click save. Okie dokie, it's saved. Now, the mod pack package page will bring you up this okay um, and you can check out all the different stuff on here and things like that so you've got like uh, merch or everything else it just takes you all around but I suggest it's up to you what you do okay what you're going to need to do is copy and paste these numbers here okay so from there to there control C and then boot up the server so the server is now starting and It will only take a couple of minutes. If the server has to update at any time, it will say updating. When it's updating, um, it can take anything from 10 minutes to two, three hours. So I do suggest go grab yourself some food, some water, whatever, watch a TV show or something, you know, um, just go from there. So as it's booting up, we will load up our Minecraft Java edition. We're going to click on multiplayer and then allow access, blah, 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 add a server, right? And the server address, done. Check, see if our server is up and running, which it is. And bam. And there we go. It's up. Okay, so we've got our server. We can run around and do that stuff, right? You've got your social interactions. If that's so cool, what you want, whatever. And yeah. Nice little Minecraft world and a way to go. So um, if you have any questions in the comments, guys, feel free to ask them. We'll like answer them as best as we can. I remember I don't work for GPO, just sponsored by them. And if you want to get your own Minecraft server, feel free. You can use um, code DARE at checkout and you'll receive 5% off your order. Okay, so Yep, enjoy that while we go and set up our own little server and have some fun.
In the meantime, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Dare. Have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video.